Friday afternoon, former Penn State President Graham Spanier walked out those doors and down these steps a guilty man. After a jury found him guilty of one count of endangering the welfare of children, Spanier was found not guilty of the other child endangerment charge and not guilty on the conspiracy charge. Spanier now faces a maximum of five years in prison and a $10,000 fine. Mr. Spanier, do you have anything to say to the victims? You were found guilty of child endangerment. Any comments, sir? Graham Spanier had nothing to say as he walked out of the Dauphin County Courthouse, walking back to his hotel alongside his attorneys. The verdict came down after roughly 14 hours of deliberation behind closed doors. Spanier's guilty charge was reduced from a felony to a misdemeanor because the jury found no course of conduct. Immediately following the conviction, the attorney general and the prosecution held a press conference saying despite the two not guilty decisions, they were pleased. There's been a conviction of Jerry Sandusky, a conviction of Graham Spanier, a conviction of Tim Curley, and a conviction of Gary Schultz. I'd be foolish to be disappointed. Pennsylvania Attorney General Josh Shapiro adding that Spanier, Curley, and Schultz consciously turned their backs to the situation. These leaders endangered the welfare of children by both their actions and their inactions. The defense, however, maintained their argument that the Commonwealth showed no evidence throughout the trial that would convict Spanier of any crime, hinging on the fact that both Tim Curley and Gary Schultz testified that Spanier was never told that the Sandusky incidents were sexual in nature. This case has always been replete with significant issues, both factual and legal. Uh, those issues certainly remain and we fully intend to appeal this verdict. The defense weren't the only ones disappointed. Former Penn State football player and Steelers Hall of Fame running back Franco Harris expressed his concerns outside the courthouse. There's no way that, that, uh, that Penn State you know, wanted to harm kids. I mean, that's furthest from the truth. Spanier hasn't been sentenced yet. That will happen at some point down the road. In Harrisburg, Matt Baumgarten, 6 News.